We can solve this quite neatly. Let's call our shared root alpha. Looking at the first equation here, we have that x is 1 minus root 2, so clearly the shared root must be 1 minus root 2. Looking at the quadratic by the conjugate roots theorem, therefore that second root must be 1 plus root 2, therefore alpha plus beta is equal to the sum of those, which is equal to 2. Therefore looking at p minus p over 1 is equal to 2, i.e. p is equal to minus 2. Looking at the third quadrat uh, third cubic, we have the first two roots by the conjugate root theorem must be those, alpha and beta. Now gamma add alpha add beta must equal minus minus 5 over 1, and we know that alpha add beta is 2, and therefore we have that gamma is equal to 3. All we need to do now is look at this. Q is equal to minus alpha beta gamma, which is equal to minus 1 minus root 2, 1 plus root 2 times by 3, which is equal to minus minus 1 times 3, which equals 3. So we have that q is 3 and p is minus 2, so the sum p plus q is 1, answer b.